the flower of life. You see it on my business card, you see it in the ancient world, in the ancient temple of Egypt, in China, under the pores, in the pyramid of Giza, under the, the, the different rooms under that is not allowed to public yet. It will be open to public at a point. Now, in your physical heart, I think I would not go into the, the meditation between the heart and the brain, the brain and the heart. But we, may, we may send that to you for those who wish. When you shift your consciousness, this is the major healing. When the consciousness come, shifted and move into an alignment, healings will happen at many, many levels. When in your heart chakra and in your physical heart at the center, there is a sphere between a sphere made of the flower of life. When I travel in that, inside of my physical heart, the whole universe is there. The whole creation is there. All the dimension is there. Source is there. Meaning it's local and non-local because it's also outside of that heart. When, you may recall some of you when we were in Vail, I used to take you through a tube of flower of life to travel in different universes, in different dimensions. Those who have read on the life of Lord Krishna, you may have heard that one day he opened his mouth big and his mother saw the whole creation coming out of his mouth. That was because he activated that center in his heart. Now, when you hear me say we did this workshop on Kundalini in Japan and we work on the 19 chakras above the physical body, in these energy is, in the Kundalini is the whole creation. When I say to you, you are the creation in miniature, that means that you have the whole creation in your physicality, in you. In your Shushumna, this Kundalini, in your Ida in Pingala, the moon and the sun, when it's active and moving, the whole creation is in you. You are more than that physical body. Then you, you in that heart, you experience you as a multidimensional being. You can see yourself in these different dimension as you. And it can have different shapes but it's sort of shapeless at, this, at the same time. You move from being, being able to see and become translucent and transparent and ether. Those who have their, their birthday calls with me, when we are in this call, what I, I activate in you or pass to you or give to you is this activation. And I use to, I use, you are in such an expanded state at that moment. It's because I use this energy of the heart for you, as well as a vortex that Jesus used to use. And he showed us some techniques behind his heart. Where there's, if you look at the vortex that we use for uh, the sessions, you know, this, like you have the Mary Magdalena vortex in Japan. We have two here in the U.S., when I activate them, I use the images in the back of my heart, what Jesus showed us, and he, he could heal and cure anybody through that energy. Limbs will grow through that energy. People who had amputed legs or arms, he will make them grow through that vortex behind his heart that he will activate to use healing power. So when your consciousness is shifted, when you are in the new paradigm, 
it's amazing what happens. And mostly now that we are moving towards, we are not in that yet, we are moving towards the, the sacred feminine energy, it will take a, a few years, I will say maybe 25 years, to, to step into the divine feminine. We are just start to be in the blink of an eye of that feminine, sacred feminineness. So that's why sometimes when I speak to you, I say, I honor the divine feminine in you. I honor the divine masculine in you to bring, to balance the androgynous that is being prepared. It will come through the divine feminine which will take over because it'll be so nourishing, so, so nurturing, so loving, so caring that the male energy doesn't have. And it's a cycle. Everything is a cycle. So all of us will move to that, to that place of the heart, the deep heart of us, meaning move into that, that heart that I'm sure, please go back to the, the two other slides previously. Yes, this is where we are all going to move at a point and we'll heal each other because we are all connected. So, you know, the hundred monkeys thing, one will get this, the other will get it and which will go on by itself. Uh, leap, the quantum leap that we talked about several years ago. Oh, I go back to Veil, all this knowledge you've received in Veil. So the creative source being active, the, the center of the flower of life is being, is being uh, active. In the flower of life, you have also the, there's a sort of, of circle which represents a, a, a dimension. Then another dimension, another dimension. In the flower of life, which we go back to that flower of life, in the flower of life, the circle in the circle, the, the whole flower of life within, within a sphere, within a, this is the world. In Asia, you see this everywhere. There's a reason why we see it, and it is in our heart. And behind this is a huge power that esoteric masters will use to heal at a distance. When you send messages to me that you've been healed, you've been healed, you've been healed, I use these energies. For the birthday calls, I use these energies with the, the vortex in the back and the heart energy for you so that the healing happens. All the karma is washed suddenly, and all your akash come to surface. Your, your, your greed, your crystalline greed is activated, and you know yourself. In your, during that moment that we're on the phone call, you know yourself as this expanded being of light and a multidimensional being of light. Mm -hmm.